Hello everybody, Stug here. In this video, I'm going to replicate the two distinctive Mother of Pearl inlay motifs on the black acrylic pick guards of Brian May's original Red Special guitar and his Archtop semi-acoustic guitar. These are the Maystar, designed by Greg Fryer in 1997, and the Badger, designed by Andrew Guyton in 2014. Since this is a demonstration for this video and my first attempt at this process, I will inlay these motifs into a 2 inch diameter sample disc CNC routed from some of the black acrylic material I used to cut red special pickguards from. By referring to photographs of the original motif, I have created my own interpretation of the Maystar design in CAD. It measures a half inch wide by 5 8 inch high across the outer four tips. I've made the tips slightly rounded using a 1 64th inch diameter circle to avoid the risk of chipping any sharp points. I plan to use a 1 over 32 inch or 0.8 millimeter diameter cutter, so the radii of the inner arcs are equivalent to this. The inner four tips are aligned to a square measuring 7 over 32 inch, that's 5.5 millimeters, and the circles forming these arcs are located on rectangles measuring 7 over 32 inch by 7 over 64 inch. I can comfortably fit two Maystars on a one inch square piece of mother of pearl sheet. I bought three of these and they cost five pounds each, so I want to maximize the number of inlays I can cut from each piece. Again, by referring to photographs of the original, I've created my own interpretation of the Badger design in TurboCAD. I've sized it to be three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters high by 19 over 32 inch or 15 millimeters wide. The shape is more organic than the Maystar, with no line segments, so I've constructed it using spline curves. In this sequence, I'm creating a second outline offset by 0.15mm to form the rebate in which the Mother of Pearl pieces will be located. I can fit all the individual sections of two Badger inlays into a 1 inch square piece of Mother of Pearl sheet, but they need to be set out carefully and oriented optimally to allow enough space for the 0.8mm diameter cutter to move freely around. I'm illustrating this manual laying out process in this sequence. Sophisticated industrial cam software can do this automatically, and you might have seen this illustrated in documentary programs covering the leather upholstery process for luxury vehicles. Next, we move on to the CNC cutting process, and I'll talk about how I set this up as we watch some shortened and speeded up footage. First up is the Maystar. I've attached a piece of flat planed white timber to the machine bed as a spoil board with double sided adhesive tape. I then attached the 1 16th inch or 1.6mm thick mother of pearl sheet to the timber using medium viscosity cyanoacrylate superglue. This will ensure strong hold down on the segments with a very small cross sectional area. The cutter is moving very slowly in all three dimensions, 125mm a minute in the XY plane and 10mm a minute up and down, or the Z plane. The rotational speed of the spindle is 7500 rpm, which is the standard speed I use with brittle materials such as acrylic. Each pass removes only 0.1mm of material, so the feeds and speeds are extremely conservative for this material and size of object. To release the pieces, I soak the workpiece in acetone until they're loosened, then prise them off the timber very carefully using a utility blade. This much shortened sequence illustrates CNC routing the rebates in the acrylic disc surface. I've made these 1.25mm deep to allow the mother of pearl objects to protrude above the surface slightly. I'm still using very conservative feed rates and 0.1mm depth of cut per pass to protect the small diameter cutter from snapping, so this more resembles an etching process. These rebates actually took about 40 minutes each to route. Before gluing the mother of pearl pieces into the rebates, I'm checking that the fit is satisfactory. If it isn't, I can either adjust the pieces to fit the rebate, or revisit the CAD work, enlarge the rebate, and route it again slightly larger. There are numerous methods of creating mother of pearl inlays, and several methods of filling the gaps between the inlay and the material that it is set into. I'm going to demonstrate just one method which involves medium viscosity black cyanoacrylate superglue. 
Based on my previous experience, I'm confident that this will yield a quality result in this particular application. I'm applying the black superglue liberally into the rebates using a precision dispensing tip. I bought these from Stuart MacDonald in the USA some years ago. Okay, so that's the Maystar done. Let's move on to the Badger. The intention here is that the superglue will squeeze out to fill the gap between the edge of the mother of pearl object and the acrylic surround. At this stage, the result is very messy and unsightly, but I'm not too concerned because once the superglue is fully cured, I can sand it back and remove any excess residue by flatting with fine graded abrasive papers. Here I'm showing you the result after the black superglue has cured for approximately 24 hours. I made two sampler discs for practice and to allow me to progress one while the glue was curing on the other. To flat the inlays back, I have mounted some 600 grit self-adhesive 3M Stick It Gold abrasive paper to an aluminium block, and I'm abrading the surface by moving the smaller workpiece rather than the heavier sanding block in this case. I'm pausing frequently to check progress and also to clear dust from the surface of the abrasive paper. When I'm satisfied that the surface is flat, I'll move to a finer grade wet and dry abrasive paper to remove the surface scratches. The final process is to polish the surface back to a gloss finish using a clean microfiber polishing cloth and a liquid cutting compound which is normally used for restoring automotive paintwork. Well, that's all the processes complete on both of these sampler discs, so let's review the results. In both cases there were small pits in the dried glue, so I recoated them with an additional layer of black superglue and repeated the abrading and polishing processes until I was satisfied. Well that's all for this video. I hope that my struggles with the things I hate, small fiddly items and sticky liquids, has given you some insights into the elegant mother of pearl inlayers on the pickguards of Brian May's guitars.